Good morning, viewers. Welcome to the session for sure for this morning. Topic for this morning: God's ordination of a good plan. Topic one more time: God's ordination of a good plan. God's ordination of a good plan. Under the series, my shards of grace season is here. Host Muhammad Rizal, look at Kefa, text taken from the book of Jeremiah 29 from verse 10 to 12. But let's pray before we begin. Father, we thank you for the praise and our We count a great privilege to be alive this morning. We come to hear from you, Father, we ask pictures and grammars to understand. In Isaiah chapter 9, verse 8, you send a word unto Jacob and a light it unto Israel. Send a word unto my heart, that will light it unto my world. For in Jesus' name I pray. Topic one more time. God's ordination of a good plan. Under the series, my showers of grace season is here. Host. Luke Kephas, text taken from Jeremiah 29, 10 to 12, I read from verse 10. For thus says the Lord, that after 70 years be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good work, my good word towards you, in causing you to return to this place. Verse 11 said, For I know the thoughts that I am writing towards you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Verse 12 said, Then shall ye call me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. May the Lord bless his word and grant us understanding. In Jesus' name, for the reading, John chapter 2, from verse 23 to 23, uh, from verse 23 to 28, I beg your pardon. Joel chapter 2, from verse 23, said, Be glad, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he had given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and later rain in the first month. Verse 24 said, And the floor shall be full of wheat, and the vat shall overflow with wine and oil, and I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm, <coughs> excuse me, the caterpillar, and the palm worm, my great am which I have sent among you. Verse 26, And ye shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God. That have draws wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. Verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. Verse 28. And it shall come to pass afterward, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. I pray even this morning, the Lord will visit you for his good in Jesus' name. One more time, topic God's ordination of a good plan. On that series, my showers of great season is here. Host Luke Akefas, text taken from Jeremiah 29, 10 to 12 for further reading, Joel chapter 2 from 23 to 28. Please, at your leisure time, I beg you, you can read the scriptures again. I'm sure you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Thinking cap, a mind blown word for this morning is walking with God bring men into the good plans of God. I take it again. Walking with God bring men into the good plans of God. Think about this. Today we we'll look at the topic, God's ordination of a good plan on that teaching series on our uh, season of showers of grace is here. By introduction, let's understand that God's plan for his creatures, a good and beautiful plan as seen in Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 down to 31. Similarly, God's plans and arrangement for his children are good, beautiful and perfect. All through the Bible, you will never see a man or a group of people who walk with God in truth and never end great in life. Greatness is in every man because God embedded good genes and plans in men. Certainly, showers of grace naturally brings us into God's good plan. But remember, it is grace to see greatness in life. I pray, even today, you will encounter the grace of God that will bring all God's good plan your way and make all these good plans to come to pass in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 39, you can read the account of, uh, of Joseph. Genesis 40, you can see how he was so thrown into prison because he refused to sleep with the wife of his master. And from there, he interpreted dreams down to the next chapter, 41. Pharaoh had a dream, their interpretation. They have to bring Joseph out, you know, to interpret the dream. And from there, he became the second in command in a foreign land of Egypt. Why? Because there was a good plan. I pray God's good plan concerning you, concerning your family, shall come to pass in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 5, from verse 1 to 9, you can see God's good plan concerning Peter. He came to pass. Jesus used his boat. Afterward, asked him to launch into the deep, and he did that. He caught great multitude of fishes. I pray God's plan concerning you, concerning your family, will come to pass in the name of Jesus. You'll be a voice in this world. In Jesus' name, uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 28 to 31. Of course, we all know that all things work together to them that love God and to them that are called according to His purpose. Only good things will come in the past in your life in Jesus' name. 
very quickly, why is this season a season of showers of grace? Why showers of grace season? We've seen two points thus far. We saw the first point is God's program for us. We saw another point. God says it's a showers of grace season. And we're seeing one more point again. God's ordination of a good plan. One more time. Why are showers of grace season? Because God have ordained a good plan for us. Because God's ordination of a good plan. This simply means that God have ordained an explosive and enviable life and future for the saints with only beautiful and good plans ahead. I take that again. Why is this a season of showers of grace? Very simple. Because God's ordination of a good plan is for us. We say this simply means that God have ordained an explosive and enviable life and future for the saints with only beautiful and good plans ahead in Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 down to 13. Said it shall come to pass, and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord your God to observe and to do all his commandments which are commanded this day. The Lord your God will set you on high above all nations of the earth, and all this blessing shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God. Say, Blessed shall I be in the city, blessed shall I be in the field. In verse 3, verse 4, say, Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Verse 5 said, Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Verse 6 said, Blessed shall I be when thou comest, and blessed shall I be when thou goest out. The Lord shall uh, command his blessings upon thee in thy storehouse, and in all that thou shalt have thy hand to do. Down to verse 10 said, And all the people of the earth shall know that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. Verse 13 said, And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. These are the good plans that God has for you and for me. And I pray God's good plan for your family will come to pass in Jesus' name. First Kings 17, from verse 9 to 16, Arise, get thee to Zarephi, which belonged to Zidion. I have commanded the widow woman there to sustain thee. And Elijah got there, he saw the woman got a drink stick, and he said, Go, get me water. She was going, he said in verse 11. And as she was going to fetch the water, he called her back and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thy hand. And she said, I have nothing. I have not a cake, but a handful of meal in the barrel, and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, I am gathering two stick that I may go and dress it, that me and my child uh, will eat, me and my son will eat and die. And Elisha said unto her, Fear not, go do as thou have said, make for me first, and afterward for yourself. And she went, she did as he had said. And in verse 15, And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah, and she said, and she and her house did eat many days. And verse 16, And the barrel of meal wasted not neither did the cruise of oil fail, according to the word of the Lord, which sparked by Elijah. So they ate on that meal until God finally sent rain to their nation. I pray you will see the good plans of the Lord in Jesus. Irrespective of what you're going through, behind the scene, there is a good plan. And I pray that good plan will be unfolded in Jesus. Second Kings 3, 17-20. Said, Thus says the Lord, they shall not see the wind, neither shall they see the rain, yet the valley shall be filled with water. There's a plan behind that plan will come to pass in Jesus' name. Uh, first Chronicles, you can read that at your leisure time. Joel chapter 2, 22, 27. Uh, he said, We shall eat and be satisfied. We'll give to many. And Luke chapter 5, we've seen how Peter never knew that there was a good plan behind the scene after Jesus had used his word. This day, this month, the Lord will show you his good plan in Jesus' name. One more time, why showers of grace season? Because it's God's ordination of a good plan for us. Because God have ordained good plan for us. When Father said this simply means that God have ordained an explosive and enviable life and future for the saints with only beautiful and good and good plans will be your portion. And portion of your family in Jesus in Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 13, you can read that first Kings 17 from verse 9 to 16, Second Kings 3, 17 to 20, Joel 2, 23 to 27, Luke 5, 1 to 9, Luke 15, 11 to 24. Lastly, it is important we cleave to God and work with God all our lives because his plans and agenda is good and awesome for us. God never created us to suffer, but to enjoy life and make the most of our destinies here on the earth. We must understand that we cannot see yeah. nor enter into this good and beautiful plan of God for our lives without a holistic true work with Him. I mean, we have to be deliberate and consistent in our 
good work with God before we can enter into His good plan. And I pray, God's good plan for your future, God's good plan for your career, God's good plan for your marriage, for your children, for your destiny, shall be made manifest even today in the name of Jesus. As such, I charge you to accept Jesus in truth and spirit today and walk right before God so that God will unveil His good plan to you. Psalm chapter 1, from verse 1 uh, down to 3, said, Blessed is the man that walking not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor sat, nor standing in the way of the sinners, nor sitting in the seat of the scornful, but his delight in the law of the Lord, and the Lord does imitate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in the season, and his leaves shall not wither, <coughs> excuse me, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. That will be your testimony in Jesus' name. John chapter 10, the thief cometh not for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Jesus came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Say, without me, ye can do nothing. Without Jesus, you can't see any good plan. One will just be toiling in cycles, in cycles. But that will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Galatians 3, 13, 40. Christ has redeemed us from the cost of our love, being made a cost for us, for it is written, causes everyone to hang in a tree. That the blessing of everyone will come to the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. So you want to see that good plan, then accept Jesus. Come down from that tree, cleave to Jesus, and God will make an amazing, giant, an amazing testimony out of you in Jesus' name. I want to pray with you if you're interested. Place your hand on your chest. Repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you this morning. I know I've foreshadowed of your glory. I know you come to this earth for my sake. You died and you told me you rose for my freedom. Right now, I confess you, Jesus, to be my Lord and my Savior. Have mercy upon me, Jesus. Wash me with your blood. Grant me grace to walk right before you. Grant me grace to be deliberate and consistent in my righteous walk with you. And Father, unveil your good and beautiful plans for my future. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We take two prayers. First prayer, Father, by your hand of grace, bring me and my family into the reality of your ordination of a good plan and a good future for us in Jesus. In Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, said, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord, thought of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. With this understand, I say, Father, by your hand of grace, bring me and my family into the reality of your ordination of a good plans and a good future for us in Jesus' name. Last prayer, Father, beautify the saints across the globe with your salvation and goodness, thereby turning the saints to attraction, to uh, to the attraction of the world, thereby pulling many to Christ in Jesus' name. Psalm 149, verse 4 and 5 said, For the, for the Lord taketh pleasure in his people, say he will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory, let us sing aloud upon their bed. Father, I beautify the saints across the globe with your salvation and goodness, thereby turning the saints to attraction of the world and pulling many to Christ in Jesus' name. Thank you for your stone, for in Jesus' name we pray. Join me, pray this prayer, share this gospel, and be blessed from intercessory ministry. God bless you. As we continue tomorrow on this uh, teaching series, God bless you. This day will be day of good news for you.